here is how you can use the vector addition simulator from phet.colorado.edu to practice graphical addition using the tail to head method or even mathematical addition using components. First, find the simulator using a search engine. You may need Flash Player or Java enabled depending on the particular simulator you are using. You have multiple options to explore, but for the purposes of this video, we are going to explore two-dimensional vectors. The simulator uses basic setup of coordinate systems with positive x to the right and positive y up. and not directly shown, angle is counted counterclockwise positive from the x-axis. Unfortunately, the simulator does not include any units, so you will need to insert the proper units for the quantity you are interested in adding. When placing a vector, you can click, hold, and drag it to any part of the grid. It does not necessarily need to be from the origin. The simulation will calculate the angle and the magnitude for you, which you can change again by click, hold, and dragging the vector. You can place additional vectors on the grid. Again, you can move them around and click, hold, and drag their head end to change their magnitude and direction. In the tail, to head approach of vector addition, you always start at the tail of your initial vector, go to the end or its head, then to add another vector, you place the tail of that vector at the end of the previous vector. The simulator can display and calculate the vector sum of the two vectors. To check that it matches up with the tail-to-head addition, place 
the tail of the resultant vector to the tail of the first vector and then its head will match up with the head of the last vector. This can be done for more than two vectors as well. For mathematical addition, you can also have the simulator calculate the components for you. It will, it will display the components of each individual vector as well as the calculated components of the resultant vector for you. It will also help you convert back to polar coordinates. you are encouraged to explore the simulator in its other modes, including equation mode, where you can even change what is being calculated.